We are having a look at the guns aimed straight over there at Argentina and of course we're standing right here next to the main bell in town. Now on a ship normally you ring this, it's shout the crew. I'm not going to ring this for fear that it might be shout the town. Simon and Simon Super Mark Adel or something like that. I'm not my Spanish, he's not really up to scratch. In here to grab a bit of fresh fruit and veggie, stop the scurvy at sea. Tell you what, this isn't a bad supermarket. You've got all your alcohol over here, your cornflakes, your biscuits, your tea, your coffee, absolutely everything you need. And of course, the array of fruit and veggies, which is what we're in here to get. I think uh, being a big fruit eater, I think one apple should just about do it. The proprietor of the Simon and Simon supermarket in here at Paula Williams. Now, mate, you're a bit of a local legend. You know everything about town, is that right? Yes, it's right, that. Yeah, you can, uh, I know some things here and so everybody of the town and everybody knows our market. And you have anything you need and anything you have here. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, we have been uh, doing a bit of stocking up here, of course. Now, we're going to go down and have a bit of a chat to the local fishermen here. And, of course, you're going to help us interpret. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Yeah, we're going down then right now to the port, maybe, uh, to see a ship and some, I uh, speak with the guys and the fishery guys. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool, mate. Well, uh, let's get down there and have a chat to him. Yes. <laughs> Don't do it. Let's do it. Is Antonio a boat builder or a fisherman working on his own boat? His own boat. Now is the off season? No, claro. Right now it's, it's over and he's starting to work with that because we need to prepare the, the boat for the next season. We started on... ¿Cuándo tiempo comienza? Primero febrero se abre la vea. Primero de febrero, el little king crab, es lo que les dije a ustedes. ¿Cómo se consigue la boat up onto the beach? Es un motor con un strong film. They catch me on the sea and take it outside of the sea. Now you are using tin or, or metal to repair the hull. Are you putting tar over the top of the metal? Things, uh, I don't know the name in English, but uh, it's a little anguilla. Anguilla in Spanish, anguilla. Yeah. To take down is metal with things. Now you're rebuilding the superstructure here. Uh, is there beds and how many days are you at sea for when you are catching crabs? It started three days ago, uh, rebuilding this boat. And when he's going outside to work, he's only working here at the channel. He's catching everything and he stay every day at the house. Ah, no. uh, local fisherman, this is yes. good, this is good. <laughs> yeah. Home to the wife every night. <laughs> Antonio, thank you very much. Okay, yeah. ciao, gracias. <laughs> Mucho gracias. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, down at the southernmost end of the world, these boat builders are absolutely amazing. Wealthy, perhaps not. Tenacious, without a doubt, resourceful, no bloody doubt. And I'll tell you what, friendly, bloody oath. Fair Deacon, if you want to catch some King Crag, come down here, Porter Williams Chile. If these boats were ready and it was uh, the correct season, we'd be out there having a crack, putting the pots in the water and having a feed. But we will be having a feed later tonight, so uh, make sure you come along and join us. To get it back in the water, drop a snatch block onto one of the swing moorings out there, hook the chain to the aft end of the boat and drag it back out again. Pretty simple, rough as guts, but it works. Check this cradle out for one of your larger style vessels, no doubt, but uh, looks a bit primitive, and again, it's gonna do the job. I'll tell you what, these guys may not be using the latest technology like carbon fibre, foam sandwich construction, Kevlar, and all the rest of the exotic materials that the boat building world is absolutely absorbed in. This cabin here is being built with wood that is named Ruble or Magellan Timber. We're not too sure exactly what that is. We're not uh, speaking the local language very well at all. It is amazing what a coat of jam or a lick of paint will do to a vessel. This one behind us, ready for sea, ready for another crab season. The pots for the entire fleet are on board this sunken barge behind me here. The only problem is you need to wait for low tide to be able to get there to get them without getting your feet wet. We've had a chat with the fisherman down on the shore. Now here's where the taste test comes. King crab on the plate. And I'll tell you what, the way it is served up immediately inspires me to want to eat this. You don't have to break the shell and go through that tedious process that seafood always endures with. Here we go. Bob's your uncle. You are eating crab in the most mm. Absolutely.
absolutely bloody beautiful, I've got to say. From basic wooden fishing boats to after the break, we are going to take you high tech with the yachts in the Sydney to Hobart Yacht Race.